We begin tonight with Gilbert Police speaking out on a teen violence problem after the community raised concerns about the death of 16-year-old Preston Lord and other recent assaults in that area. Tonight, police are asking for the public's help in identifying a pack of teens, they say, involved in a robbery near Williamsfield Road and Market Street. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us live in that area tonight with more. Lindsay. John and Christina, we are learning more about what happened on August 18th. Gilbert police releasing photos of those believed to be involved in the robbery. Over the past year, there has been an increase of assault incidents involving teens near Williams Field Road and Market Street, according to Gilbert Police. It's honestly kind of crazy because we live in Gilbert, which is pretty known to be safe. Um, I don't know why a bunch of kids are just out here like deciding to go crazy when, I mean, like, you just got to let people live. Like, you can't just think it's fun to go out and just fight a random dude. Low resolution photos show a group of people involved in what appears to be a fight on August 18th. While police have not officially linked this incident to the so called Gilbert Goons group, they did mention on their teen violence investigations webpage that they are actively reviewing assault cases involving youth to see if there is any additional information or correlation between incidents in both Gilbert and neighboring communities. I just hear that it's a bunch of kids just like running around. They come to this in and out here, they run around and just do a bunch of things they're not supposed to be doing, obviously. Um, heard about the jump, obviously, and how they're just hurting a bunch of kids that are smaller than them. Earlier this month, Gilbert Police Chief Michael Solberg wrote in a statement they were made aware of the Gilbert Goons group. Police initially said they did not have cases where the victims or suspects refer to the group. But today, police said recent updates from victims have referred to their alleged assailants as being associated with the group. It's just not fair to families out here and yeah, for those kids, like, they just need to learn a lesson. In a letter to parents, Gilbert Public Schools asks parents to take time to talk with their children about the importance of their safety and being aware of the popular hangouts in the community. Gilbert Police say they are going to increase patrol in high traffic areas. Now we reached out to Gilbert Police and Queen Creek Police, but both declined interviews tonight. Reporting live, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.